everybody follow you any team or any leadership i always say only one thing i say that a leader is one who has got magnet in his heart and compass in his mind he is a leader in my opinion and we are since in a teaching profession so we have to act as a leader and i tell you i have worked in a growing school and in a developed school and as i told in the morning i got opportunity to go abroad and to learn lot of things from the institution abroad and what i have found that as long as we maintain our pace of learning we have a passion for learning we'll keep on learning that's why one important thing which i feel that if you have to grow or if a institution like this which is a growing institution we have general uh, we have produced number of good leaders from our institution i would like to just tell you most of you must be knowing that's the top institution in the world are heron atten if a if a is a school education is concerned and you know when the st those student who passed out from those schools they went all over the world and then they proved their leadership and what was the smartness in them just imagine a small country a very small country in the map of the world he ruled the entire world how what was the speciality in them the speciality was that they were so committed people and you know they started in up to if you read about the history of england you will come to know that up to for 15 16 century they were nowhere in the world but then they emphasized on the education of their children and later on person like mount batten or winston churchill who was the hero of the second world war what they learned their way of working was different honestly speaking i don't know how many teachers you maintain to do list every day but i always keep a diary with me where i write my tomorrow whatever i am going to do and that i learned from winston churchill autobiography when i read it i started maintaining a diary and that diary i plan for the entire day like you have your teacher's diary so winston churchill when he used to work in the second world war his way of working was he used to on his table there used to be three you know three drawers and one used to be for the immediate action very important and then important so he subordinate the the personal secretary used to keep the paper in such a manner that without wasting time even a single minute he used to sign the immediate paper first then very important paper and then that's why they became the you know hero they became the leaders of the world and you must have heard so many good people is such a big institution many good people are coming and they must have shared you shared with you number of thing but you know uh, there come a stagnation in the life of every teacher also i am honestly telling you because the age just now we were discussing that the age in which you are passing through you have number of problems you have problems certain problems of your family certain problems of the professional problem and that's why your mind is engaged and you are having small children as well so your mind is so much engaged that you are not able to give your 100% although you try to give the best whatever you have but even then how you 
can improve. That's my simple submission that please, until unless you submit yourself to a organization, if submission is there and you do what you love, that will grow you like anything. I would like to give an example. Suppose this institution is growing and Mr. Doody is principal here. Just ask him, before becoming principal of this institution, he had worked in number of other organizations <coughs> as different capacities. And today, today he is principal. So he has gone through various phases. You will also go in the same manner. You will also go in different phases before becoming a successful person. Today, he, if he has become a uh, dynamic leader in the field of education, that means he has gone through all those phases. And what are those phases? Until, unless you get an ownership of your work. First, you have to have faith. You have faith that I am joining Guda International School as a teacher. I have tried my level best to wherever I could apply, I have applied. Finally, I got this place. Whether you are satisfied or you are not satisfied, that's different. But just try to understand that you are here. Okay? We came to this world, we do not know. We got our father and mother, we did not know them. We have got children, we do not know them. You have come to the organization with all your intelligence, all whatever the best you could do or your comforts or whatever. You are here now. Now what you have to do? You have to take an ownership. Okay, this is my organization. As long as I am here for a year or two or four or five or whatever, I will give my 100%. Why? Why should I give my 100%? Because by giving 100%, it will go in your veins and your, you know, in the arteries. Whatever you think, whatever you think, try to understand, whatever you think, it becomes your words. And your word becomes your habit. And your habit becomes your actions. And that becomes your character. And your character, character becomes your destiny. So, you are destined what you thought of. Whatever it came to your mind first, it came to words, words to action, the habit. That means, stop anything which is coming negative to the mind, there itself. Because the entire show which, was, which we find here in the entire world is nothing but the, your thinking, your thought process. So if your thought process is good, I am telling you, you will be successful. The other day, when General B.K. Singh came as a chief in our institution, I remember that incident. So our children, they interviewed him. He was student of a Panini house, one of house in senior section. So one of a student asked him, Sir, did you ever thought that you will become the army chief? He said, no. Although my father was colonel in army, but I never wanted to, uh, he ne ne never wanted me that I should go in army. But it was my school principal, Mr. Radha Raman Pathak in 1967. He only said, that your son has got good qualities of an army officer, let him go in army and he'll be a successful officer. This is what General B.K. Singh said. And you know what he said? Very important words. The third or fourth largest army of the world, if the leader is saying something, I'm telling you honestly, I, leave, I take leave from my institution if I find any good orator and a good skill, 
person is coming or any leader is coming to Pilani and I have I'll take leave and I'll go and listen a number of time two three times I've taken honestly I've taken leave so that I can enrich by the thought process of the experienced people and you know what General VK Singh said he said children my message to you is that whatsoever the assignment used to be given to me as a lieutenant as a captain as a major as a lieutenant colonel as a colonel as a uh, brigadier as a major general as a lieutenant general and today i am chief whatsoever the assignment used to be given to me i used to complete that assignment on that particular day and i never used to leave that assignment for next day and this way i became successful so as a teacher your commitment towards your work your consistency your ownership i am telling you these three words are very very important when i was principal i used to tell my teachers i used to say that my dear teachers whether you like me or you do not like me but my purpose is that i want to groom you so that tomorrow when you come to this place where we are today we will be happy that i have produced 5 6 7 or 10 principles i have taught them i have groomed them that is my achievement so if any principal is is after you that means he want something from you or he find that you have some you know spark in you and if you listen to him and you follow out of the crowd everybody will not become principal but those who want to do something in their life they have to go under the hardship all these experts people those who prepare for the foundation or they work so day and night and then they become successful so my submission is that whenever you face any challenges of your life please i developed this habit the other day i met my friend after a long time and he invited me at his residence ki sir you come we'll have lunch or dinner together i said no that's my meditation time and i have to devote my time for that i'll come in the morning i'll meet you you prioritize your day that you then this 24 hours how i am going to spend these 24 hours with whom i am going to spend these 24 hours i am telling you every minute we are visitor in this world for some time we are not the permanent member in this society in, on this earth we are for some time as long as we are here whatever the role is being given to us we have to give our 100% and we have to go from here one day we'll go from here and the morning your teacher she was talking about the salvation i thought ki yes this school has got some aesthetic sense higher aesthetic sense where the teacher is using words like salvation I, 